Walk around family, welcome back to another video. Today we have a 2024 Acura RDX A Spec in Lunar Silver Metallic with the ebony interior. For 24, it's the same as 23, so none has changed. Design cubes and everything's all the same. You have the full LED headlamps, so high beam, low beam, turn signals, daytime running light. Going up to the A Spec though from the tech package, because the tech package is below this one, you do get LED fog lights. If you have a tech package, no fog lights, base model, no fog lights. Also on the A spec, the grill is blacked out. Actually, almost everything is blacked out on the A spec comparing it to the tech package. The tech package have a little bit more chrome going on. And I just recently did a tech package, so if you want to compare the two, definitely check out that video. Lower portion of the bumper is flat black. Grill is flat black. It's interesting because on the tech package, this part is, I believe, a gloss black. But on the A spec, it's flat black with the gloss. I guess Acura didn't want to put too much gloss on there. You have your big Acura emblem up front, and it houses your radar for your Acura watch, and more, uh, how about I say gloss black, more flat black down below. But you do get a little gloss black on the lower portion of the bumper and all around it as well. Taking a look at the side profile here, you can see even right here, it's uh, gloss black on the tech package. That will be chrome. The A-Spec give you 20s, and I believe the tech package give you 18s. So, Bigger rims on the A-Spec and they're the shark gray finish as well compared to the tech package. And then the tire size on these, these are 235, 35, 20 tires as well. A-Spec badge on the fender, let you know you got the, you got the more sportier trim. Um, there isn't a Type S variant to the RDX, so I wish there is, but this is the uh, sportiest, unless you go up to the, the A-Spec Advance, which give you all the sportiness with all of the tech as well. On the side mirror, body color up top, LED turn signals on integrated on the side mirrors, flat black down below, around the windows, all this black. So it's a gloss black up top and then flat black down below. Pillars is all black as well. Even this portion here to kind of give you a more like a floating roof, gloss black. Like I said, everything that would have been chrome is gloss black on the A spec. Even the door handles is body colored. Come along to the rear. You do have your shark fin style antenna, body colored. The spoiler is a half body colored, half gloss black, exposed wipers. LED third brake light behind it as well too. Combination uh, tail lights, so reverse lights or LED. I think brake lights are LED. Turn signals are traditional bulb license plate lights or LED as well. And you do have your Acura emblem right here in the rear. RDX and chrome. I think that should have been blacked out for the A spec, but it's chrome. Super handling all wheel drive. If you get that model, that's in chrome. And A spec badging right here too, let you know you get the sporty model. A spec also gives you the bigger exhaust tips because on the tech package, it's like more of a rectangle and it's smaller. And I think um, this actually share the same tips as the Passport, if I'm not mistaken. You do get a gloss black diffuser back here as well. Parking sensors in the rear. You have parking sensors front and rear on the tech, tech package and up. Taking a look at the key, you have lock, unlock, you have a power tailgate, you have a panic button, and then you have a button down here to take out the emergency key. And it's numbered on the back because you do have memory seats on the RDX. Also, um, tech package and up, I'm not sure if the base model has this feature, you do have smart entry on all four door handles. So you can lock it from any door handle and you can unlock it from any door handle. Now, when you unlock it from this side or the passenger side, it'll unlock all doors. By default, if you unlock it on the driver door, it'll only unlock the driver door as well. So this is the ebony interior, and I'm actually gonna go start it up. Cause, oh, snap, truck scared me. <laughs> I'm gonna start this up because it's a hot day today and it's cooking, this interior is probably hot, especially with the black interior, but, oh, somebody's jamming in here. Oh, look, it's already on ventilated seats but we'll come back to that in a second let me turn that down a little bit get on feet and let's start off with the door card here so on the a spec you do have soft touch up top you get the um ultra suede in the middle instead of it being just like a leather ultra suede nice feeling material red stitching on the a spec down here soft touch leather and you have red stitching as well auto up down for all windows power locks, power mirrors. You do get the ELS Studio 3D on the A-Spec, so more speakers, better wattage, comparing to the tech package. And then you do have some storage down below as well. So you have a, like, a little cup holder. You can put all your garbage and stuff down as well. You have a button for your rear trunk, open that close. Speaker down below. 
coming along in the interior. So every interior should be pretty familiar because I did a tech package of the same color. But the A-spec gives you the ultra suede in the middle. So instead of the whole seat being leather and just perforated in leather and just leather on the outside and perforated in the middle, on the A-spec it's perforated throughout the whole seat and ultra suede in the, in the middle with the red stitching as well. And then you do have power seating here. So you have forward and back, up and down. This thigh portion right here can go up, down, forward and back for the back. And then you have a four-way lumbar support. So in and out, up and down. On the passenger side, it's also power adjustment. You have forward and back. You do have up and down though on the passenger side and the thigh portion can go up and down, forward and back for your back. And then you have a four-way lumbar support as well. Another reason why you go to the RDX instead of a CRV. CRV is only four, it's only a four-way power and it's forward and back and forward and back and that's it. All right, we're gonna jump inside the RDX. And uh, left side of the steering wheel, you can see you have your sea of buttons. You have your parking sensors on and off, shortcut to your safety features, traction control on and off, brake hold, and your parking brake down below. And you do have gloss black around the mirrors. For the mention on the door, memory seating, or maybe I didn't mention that. <laughs> I don't remember. It's so hot, my brain's over here frying. But you have memory seats on the driver to only two position, and behind each key there's a number because you can save two positions to per each key. On the tech package, it was like one color, like silver. And you have a textured on the A spec, and it's a darker color too, which is really nice. So come along to the steering wheel. The steering wheel is perforated where you hold it and it is red stitched as well. Tech package, it's only leather wrap, it's not perforated. And you, you do get silver paddles behind the steering wheel on A spec. I think on the tech package, this was black as well. I'm gonna be comparing the two because I, I know a lot of people shopping between a tech package and an A spec and wanna know what you're getting on the A spec versus the tech package. On your light switch back here, you have off, auto, low, and on, and you have fog light switch on and off as well auto high beams as well. Right side, you have off, intermediate, low, and high, and off, intermediate, on for your rear wiper. No automatic uh, sensing wipers. And you do get A-spec down here at the bottom of the steering wheel. No heated steering wheel standard on the A-spec though. I like the silver piece with the A-spec down there with the flat bottom steering wheel. That has a nice touch. You do have the sport pedals as well. Let me get in and show you guys. And not only the pedals are sport pedal, the dead pedal is also the same material. Usually they give you gas and brake and not the dead pedal, but they did do the dead pedal. So that's a nice touch from Acura. Get the push start button on this side. Coming along to your infotainment center here. Now here, very controversial because of the screen and the shifter. So the screen is not touch screen. Um, to control the screen, you do have your touch pad here. It's a true touch pad. So wherever you aim is where you grab. So let's say I go to home and let's say I want to grab phone up there. I touch like a little bit, like kind of like right here and it'll grab phone. Same thing with system updates, bottom right, system updates as well. So it's uh, a lot of people prefer to be touchscreen. I have an RDX, I'm used to this. This actually works because you don't really need to look. You can just like drive, have your hand on one hand. It's easy to get used to. You do have a built-in navigation system, tech package and up. And actually, I'm going to zoom in there so you guys could get less of the sun glare. You do have phone, you have satellite radio, you have FM, you have system updates, smart shortcuts. Apple CarPlay Android Auto is wireless starting on the 23, so 24 is wireless. You do have Bluetooth, USB, AM, Alexa, at and hotspot, settings, and Acura link and messages. And on the right side over here, you do have like a little helper thing right here. You can swipe up and down. That will change their helper screen right over here. So you have time, what you listen to, navigation, back to time as well. RDXs have traditional buttons for your climate control. So you have dual zone. So you do have your driver and passenger temperatures. Power uh, button here, volume, next track, previous, hazards. Super easy, easy to use. And you do have your on and off mode, AC, fan speed, um, air circulation, front defrost, heated side mirrors and back glass and passenger's temperature here. You do have sync and auto built in. Now the tech package will give you heated seats, but will not give you ventilated seats. And what's cool is you can have your ventilated seats or your heated seats on auto based on what temperature you have set. So a really nice feature. Same thing on the passenger side as well. So that's one reason why you go up to the A spec and not the tech. You have your dynamic modes as well. So you have snow, com uh, comfort, normal, and sport. I love the graphics that Acura put on there. Really nice, I'm gonna leave it in normal. You have your engine auto stop off button there, 
the shifter is a push button shifter so you hold the brakes push for park push for reverse and just like the tech package you're going to have your multi-angle backup camera so you have a wide angle you have normal and you have top down cross traffic cross traffic on and off brightness and then the screen over here is going to have your radar to see how close you are to anything as well put that guy back in the park you have neutral drive. If you hit drive again, it'll put the transmission into a sport mode where the transmission will shift a little bit more aggressively. You have a more spirited drive. And then you have your trackpad there. Armrest here for your wrist when you're using the trackpad. And you do have cup holders down here as well. USB-A into this uh, cubby area here. You can close that off. I love this material. Open that guy back up. You have storage on this left side as well. And right below the shifter, you do have additional storage down below here. So you have a wireless phone pad and you have a power outlet and a USB-C port as well. So you have one USB-C and one USB-A. This is soft touch, red stitch. And then you don't have no um, ports or anything in there, just storage down in there. Coming along to the glove box, it is lockable and it is damp and it is not lined with felt so it's just plastic material but it's a two-tier system you can take that uh, portion out if you wanted to more ultra suede on the top uh, part of the dash as well and this is actually soft touch on the dash itself which is a nice touch and i even like the silver portion on the door well the gray portion of the door kind of cuts in to the dash as well and i've never even noticed that i have this on my rdx this is my first time seeing this <laughs> that's actually funny um, up above for your entertainment system, you do have an auto dimming rearview mirror and built-in uh, home link for your garage. So it's a universal um, connector as well. Above that, you do have your sunglass holder. You have LED lighting in the interior. Uh, I believe you have the tech package as well. And then you have Acura Link. You have your 911 Assist. You have your sunshade that will open all the way because panoramic moonroof is standard on all RDXs, even the base model. So it's nice that Acura includes that. And if you want to open up the moonroof, this front portion right here will open up for you as well. But let's go close the back so I don't cook in here and turn into a um, turn to a Cheeto in the seat or something like that. We're going to close that all up. Now, the headliner is black and I believe it's a special material, am I mistaken? When we look at the brochure, I'm going to see what it's called, but the tech package, I did the ebony interior and it had a, a gray headliner, but you do have your light and it's not LED, it's a traditional bulb, but at least you have a mirror with light. Same thing on the passenger side as well. So we're going to jump out of here and get into the rear passenger seating. Let me sure I unlock it for myself. But yeah, it's a nice warm day today. So you can see how wide the rear doors open on the RDX. And the front seat is not back all the way, but on the side card here, soft touch still. Suede material still back here on the door. Soft touch where you rest your elbow, red stitching. And you have that uh, metal look uh, speaker grill. Same thing with the door handle and some additional storage down here as well. And the seating mimics the driver's seat, so perforated with the ultra suede in the middle, which is a nice touch, feels good to the hand. Let's get back here. Behind the driver, you do have a mat pocket, one behind the passenger as well. And you do have your air vents with USB-Cs, two USB-Cs, two USB-Cs ports back here. There's no heated seats back here. No controls for the rear passengers, it's based on the driver. But you can see the cockpit up front. Oh man, the sun is just, it's, it's finally springtime here in New Mexico, so we've been wearing jackets for so long. I'm, I'm in a t-shirt right now. Now, with the ELS Studio sound system, compared to the tech package, you do get more speakers. So you do have a speaker grill up there. You also have a speaker up here. The tech package does not have a speaker back here. And you also have a speaker back here on the C-pillar as well, which the tech package don't have as well. But overall, though, it's a nice place to be in. Headrest is adjustable forward and back and your rear passengers will be very comfortable in your RDX. Let's jump out of here and take a look at the cargo space. I love this Lunar Silver Metallic. Honda also offers this color so I'm pretty familiar with this color. So power tailgate and it's adjustable so you can adjust how high you want to open and close and you can see plenty of cargo space in the trunk you can put things in and out you do have handles back here you can pull and it will drop down the seats one on this side as well too for this portion here you can see rdx give you carpet floor mats and plenty of storage back here so 
you have a speaker i think a subwoofer is back here and then you do have a uh storage down here no connections or uh power outlets or anything back here but you can lift up the the floor you have storage under under there and lift up one more you have more storage under there with your uh, flat fix kit i believe is in there and, and yeah if you get a tech package you don't get a flat fix kit they give you tools because the tech package will give you a spare tire but the ace spec don't give you a spare tire you can see underneath it as well we'll close that guy up and let's take a look at the brochure see if we we missed anything we made it to the 24 rdx model lineup so here you're gonna see you have the base model you have the um tech package you have the ace spec package you have the advanced and the ace spec with advanced but we're gonna focus on the ace spec package so the ace spec is an upgrade from the tech package which is also an upgrade from the base so so the ace spec is gonna have everything the base model have and the tech package have and this is what it adds on top of it 20 inch shark gray aluminum alloy wheels you do get the 255 45 20 high performance all season tires a spec exterior styling features exclusive a spec dual round exhaust outlets because i showed you guys well if you see my tech package the um the tips are they like a rectang rectangle they're like more of a i guess they're oval no no they're more of a rectangle and they're smaller than we should get on the A spec. Get LED fog lights, leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel, heated and ventilated front seats. So there's a reason why you might get this over the the tech. You get the sport seats with the perforated Milano premium leather and ultra suede trim interior with contrast stitching and piping. So very fancy seats you can get on the A spec over the tech package. Um, you have the wide pattern dark brush aluminum trim, A spec insignia step garnish, sport pedals ebony headliner and get the ELS studio 3d premium audio system with 16 speakers now this thing this is probably one of the best sound system I've ever heard in a car and um, especially with the, the 16 speaker because I believe if you go to the advanced the advanced will give you more speakers but um, does it give you more speakers let's take a look at that advanced have the same speakers but this ELS studio 3d premium audio sound system a1 but i think acura is no longer going to offer the els i think they're going to go with the banging olsen sound system now because the zdx has it and i think the mbx has it now too so that might change but so far though e the els fire so we're going to go and build one um for 24 i believe they got rid of front wheel drive so i don't think you can get front wheel drive anymore on an rdx because when i want to go build one this is the only powertrain i can choose so the package is available on the base model tech, A spec, advanced. Yeah, so I think all drive is the only option. And we're gonna go with the A spec and build this guy out. So A spec is already starting at fifty thousand dollars. And the model um I have is the lunar silver with the ebony interior. The lunar silver is gonna be the least expensive, I guess, color you can go with because if you go with Majestic Black Pearl, it's six hundred dollars more and you have the option between ebony or red interior and the red interior is actually really nice i love the red but yeah every color you choose is going to be a upcharge besides lunar silver so that's interesting so liquid carbon metallic also black or red performance red pearl ebony only you have platinum white pearl ebony or red is the interior colors and then you have apex blue pearl so i'm gonna stick with lunar silver and then Break down the pricing for you guys. So MSRP started at fifty thousand, and uh, no premium pricing at all. Destination and handling is thirteen fifty. You're looking at fifty one three fifty for lunar silver A spec package. But if you go in any other color, it'll be a little bit more. But let's jump from the pricing and let's take a look at some accessories. So let's go with I'm showing you interior. So let's go with some packages that you can add on your RDX from from your dealership. You have the All Season Protection Package, All Season Protection Package 2, All Season Protection Package 3. <laughs> so you have multiple packages there. Cargo Package, uh, Cargo Package 2, Protection Package 1. There's so many different ways you can customize and dress up your RDX. I love the black emblems. Um, super nice. Um, you can get the A Spec Black Dial. You can get, uh, what is this? Oh, the RDX Black Dial. You get the Super Handling. You get the whole thing blacked out. I love the the logo pattern. That's fire, and then you have an additional uh, window spoiler you can add on there, which is nice. Chrome, you can have welcome lights. Now you can really dress up the RDX. You know you have the roof racks, bike racks. It's actually pretty nice. Oh, interesting. 
So I stopped to think because I have an RDX. So I'm like, oh, I wonder, should we add crossbars and add a add a, a bike thing on there? I don't know. And I'm here with my son too, so you might hear him in the background. He's talking, having fun. But the hands-free access power tell you, I think that's standard on the advanced package, but you can add it on. I guess you can add on any. Can you add on any trim level? I guess so. Because their power tailgate stand on every trim level. So that's cool. You get the kayak attachment, roof basket. Like, what other stuff you have? Uh, additional storage basket you throw up there. I'm really thinking about that bike rack. I don't know. I might. Hmm. Hmm. But <laughs> roof rails, you can add. Um, I think if you get a tech package and up, it comes. Oh, no. This don't even come with roof rails. What am I even talking about? So, yeah, the A-Spec don't come with roof rails. You have to add roof rails. I'm shocked. Um, you can add running boards. You can add a hitch in the back. How it looks in a hitch? I'm actually doing shopping for myself right now. I'm like, oh, I wonder should I add a hitch? How does how does that look? But then you do, do you lose the um? Oh, it won't show you. Oh, trailer hitch. It won't show you how it looks. I think you lose the um. Do you lose your diffuser though? I think so. See, I wouldn't want to lose my diffuser, so I probably would prefer the the roof um bike because i'm thinking of if you add a, like a bike hitch all right enough of me we're talking about the a spec so you have body side molding door edge film door edge guards door handle film rear bumper apique splash guards so many things premium carpets you can add in there illuminated door sills that's actually pretty nice sports steering wheel we heated <laughs> he's having fun back there <laughs> So uh, heated steering wheel you can add because the I think the advanced come with that standard but the A spec don't come with the heated steering wheel. All season floor mats, rear seat covers, something we should probably invest in to be honest. Um, now cool we have the little one, uh, sunshade cargo cover, and if you ever do want to pause the video, pause the video and you can watch any of this. So you can add remote. This is I think it's standard on the advanced package too, but you can add it to your A spec if you wanted to. Um, I do use Acura Link, and Acura Link will allow you to use remote stuff from your app, from your phone. But it's, I guess it'd be cool to have it from your your remote as well. So, so some some um, tech features you can add because I'm used to Honda's accessories, and Honda don't really have too many tech accessories. They have a lot of dressing up and things like that. But that's pretty interesting. So I will um, end the walk around video here. Let me guys know what you guys think about the RDX and what you think about the A-Spec package and what you think about 24s. You know, like, would you still get one? Would you wait for 25? Because we don't know if it's going to be a refresh or not, but my opinion, RDX is just an excellent SUV. I know a lot of people complain about the the touchpad and the, the not not having a touchscreen and, you know, I guess that's, like, the biggest thing everyone hates about these, but the touchpad is fine. Like, once you get used to it, it it's, it's fine. Like, using this guy... Super simple, but what a very comfortable um, vehicle. It's fast as well, too. Fun to drive. But, yeah, drop some comments. Let me know what you guys think about the A-Spec. I'm going to end everything here. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next walk around. Mm -hmm.